Oh, it's, let's see, Thursday, April 6th, I believe. And we're moving from the first set of bales in the elementary school field to the second set of bales. And I'm filling the waters uh, in their original position. These cows are wondering which way do I go? Which way do I go? Turn around, Molly. Go that way. Turn around. Uh -huh. Go. Keep going. Yes. There you go. These girls are getting big. Okay. They're through. They're nice enough not to step on the water hose and make it not fill my water tank. And here they are. They get this bale of hay for the next. Wow, her udders are looking full. Uh, let's see. These cows aren't supposed to give birth until June, but I'm not so sure that that's completely true. Her bags, look. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom out. They are full. She's got full milk sacks. She could go soon. I don't know. We said the same thing about brownie last year, and it we were saying that from like May till July. Oh, here, brownie is. In this case, the hay feeder is the lambs sort of get a little bit of protection, but they could also get hurt in here. Got some hungry cows, some little baby lambs. Uh-oh. What is it, this? What are we, you guys didn't miss the, miss the move? Keep going. It's gonna be a little tricky after the fact. Keep going. Keep going, yeah. You got it, you got it, mama. All right. Oh, I got the donkeys. <laughs> the donkeys are still hanging on back here. I gotta go get them so I can shut this fence. All right, uh, hold on. Well, I just thought I'd show you here how I'm going to get the donkeys. This field, we haven't really taken a look at this field yet. Uh, this, you know, one point in time, this was grass. It was probably mowed all the time. There was probably a baseball field here, or the kids played tag and all kinds of things. I mean, that was that's that's the school over there. It's a nice old schoolhouse. Um, there's, I believe, there's three classrooms, three nice big classrooms, and uh, kitchen, bathrooms, and. Um, and it's no longer a school. And this field has just been being sit here, being mowed, you know, every, you know, other year, some years um, not, some years being mowed. And the kids are gonna be a little bit bummed because there was a lot of wild strawberries up here. Uh, but the grass did not grow. And it was actually, you know, if you didn't mow this for, five years it would have just been woods you would have been you would have had to come in here and with a chainsaw or a forestry mulcher or something um, this would have just been bushes and baby trees and so we're we grazed it with bale grazed it and putting down some 
of the best fertilizer, cow pea and and uh, cow manure, and I do mean cow urine, not the legume. Uh, and all this, all the leftover hay is going to biodegrade here, feed the worms, all these little, we got lots of puck marks where we got the, the organic matter that's on that surface is being pushed down into the soil making it easier for the worms and the soil microbes to digest it and uh, I got lots of these bushes <clears throat> see like that is not was not from the mower last year that is from the donkeys maybe the sheep but you can see a lot of these young trees got topped uh, and we're not doing this is an ex you know uh, extreme high density grazing or anything. This is just bringing some livestock here, feeding them some hay, keeping them moving, not leaving them here too long. We don't want to see a lot of mud. There's definitely some mud happening. It is April in Maine, and uh, there you go, donkeys. The donkeys don't like the snow. They'd happily see the snow all melt away. So they get this little segment today. Tomorrow they'll get the next bale. They'll have a little more space. Uh, this isn't perfect. This is we we are far from perfect here um, because these close the wa my water's only reaching this far right now. I will be able to get it to reach further maybe even in a few days this weekend possibly in which case we'll give them we'll move the water along with them and not let them just keep coming back because this this end of the paddock that they were just in got a lot more attention than the further paddock and if we had just if I could have just given them the area around each bale each day then each area would be a little more evenly grazed, or, you know, impacted. Uh, this corner, you know, I think, I think it could use a little heavier impact. There's a lot of bushes in here. This was very brushy. And uh, so if, I might put the water um, in a day or so right in those bushes where next to that tree and get that more impacted or I'll put the water over here where that gray donkey's standing that place is also I may move it around for a few days we'll see I think I could reach at least that far yeah if I straighten the line out I can see a bend in it uh, that I don't need I could get it where that donkey is and um, yeah this is gonna be good uh, well, I'm gonna shut these folks in here and move my fence on the other side of these water tanks for the day, for the night. And uh, that's about it, folks. Um, it's uh, we're a week into April. We've got, I don't know, 15 more bales here and another nine down by the house. Well, I got six more beyond those. Um, I'm probably gonna have to see if I can get a few more bales delivered here before uh, we can really start grazing. It's a good high likelihood. Um, these bales we got from a neighbor, they're not quite as big as the other four by four bales. Um, there's just not as much there. The animals go through them faster basically giving them one a day. I might be able to sneak uh, a, two nights in in each segment and say, you know, open at, at late at night one day and early in the morning a couple days later. Um, 
Well, all right, that's enough for, for, for me for, for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I, I can see a lamb that needs a little bit of help. He's, she's doesn't quite understand why the fence isn't hot. <laughs> all right. Uh, that real brown one right there, she had her head under the fence. Uh, I wanted to show you what, what I did. Uh, there was just a few too many folks at the feeder. And, you know, I don't really like using the ring feeder. Um, I know uh, Greg Judy calls it the death ring um, because calves get squished. Uh, in the feeder, and calves, and I guess in this case, lambs. Uh, so I just took a whole bunch of hay off that top of that feeder and gave some to the donkeys over here. They weren't even trying to eat. They were standing back and waiting. They're, they're good about waiting. Um, these little lambs were nibbling on grass, but I gave them an armful of hay. Uh, some of the cows have gone off to eat the hay that I threw out, which is fine. Uh, they'll eat what they want of it, and then they'll probably turn around and come right back to the, the feeder, uh, at which point the lambs will probably get out and go uh, see what leftovers were left out. And most of the time they're not all standing at the feeder. Uh, the cows will eat, and then they'll go lay down, and then the, the sheep will come and eat, and then they'll go lay down, and the cows will come back and eat, and somewhere in there the donkeys will get in and eat some too. Um, so uh, that was my little improvisation for tonight. It's gonna, you know, we'll spread out a little hay seed. This will be good. I, I wanna move towards unrolling. I'm not sure why. I'm not just unrolling these bales since I'm feeding a whole bale out each day. Um, uh, it's something for me to try to overcome, I guess. Um, well, uh, with that, folks, that it's getting dark now, as you can probably see. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a sunny, warm day, I believe. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is just. That's a pretty sight right there. Four cows, five cows standing there eating. Uh, everybody's getting some right now, it's good. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me, folks. Uh, every every subscription, every like, video like helps us get more seen. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Thank you.